Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem of bi-weekly contest 9-4 and the problem name is going to be reward top K students. Okay, so uh, in this problem like this problem is totally based on implementation and you need to know the concept of sorting as well. So without wasting our time, let's jump on to the problem statement. So let me read out the problem statement once again. You are given two string arrays positive feedback and negative feedback which will contain the words denoting positive and negative feedbacks okay uh, note that no word is being present in both positive and negative feedback okay now uh, you also have a student like uh, uh, you also have some students and every student initially has zero points okay and each positive uh, word like in a feedback report increases the points of a student by three whereas each negative word decreases the points by one Okay, so uh, for each student you will be having a report and that report is actually a sentence. Okay, you can see if you look if you look at the first example a report and a report is something like a sentence for each student so, and for each word in that sentence if that word is present in the for, uh, positive feedback your the point of the student will be increased by 3 otherwise the point of the student will be decreased by 1. Okay, and you are given the n feedback reports. And you need to uh, find out uh, the top k students after ranking them in non-increasing order by their points. So each student must have some points. Okay. And you have to just rank them. Uh, you have to just find out the top k students uh, which has uh, maximum number of points. And if two or more student has the same points, you have to uh, rank them by their uh, student ID. A smaller ID will be occupied higher positions. Okay, so let's understand this problem with examples. So we have this positive uh, feedback uh, words smart, brilliant and studious. And we have this negative feedback words as not. And we have the student S1. Uh, report of that student S1 is this is a studious. And report of student S2 is the student is smart. And the ID of the student 1 is 1 and ID of student 2 is 2. Okay, and we have the value as K2. Okay, we need to return the top uh, Two students if uh, you know if the number of students are not uh, sufficient then you have to return whatever the student that are present okay so like it may be also possible like k can be greater than or something number of students then you have to return the complete students whatever it has like okay so we'll talk about the general case okay so first let's try to find out the points that is being uh, that is being occupied or that is being uh, the points that each student will have actually so you can see let's try to work out for each word of the student of a report so you can see this this is not present in either p or n okay where uh, similarly is is not present in the positive feedback as well as negative feedback similarly the word a is not present in the positive feedback and the negative feedback and you can see this studious is present in the positive feedback so the point uh, for the student one will be increased by three so the total number of points is uh, for the student 1 is actually 3. Similarly, this one for the student 2 is not present. This one is not present. And this one is not present. And the smart is present. So the point will be increased by 3 for the student 2 as well. So the number of points, total number of points for the student 2 is 3. Now you have to sort the students on the basis of the points that they have. Okay. So if two or more students has the same points, you have to sort them by their ID. Okay, you can see uh, both have same points so, and this has smaller ID. So S1 will come uh, before S2. So this is your order and you have to actually return the ID. So your answer is 1, 2. Okay, so the problem is very much simple. So let's look out to, for the coding part, how this can be implemented. Also remember that K is less than or equal to N. So you have to return the top key uh, students. Okay, that will be your answer. Okay, so first we will store the positive feedback and negative feedback into a set so that if you are trying to find out some word whether that exists in the positive feedback or negative feedback that can be easily done in some logarithmic time. Okay, because set is going to take log n time. Now we have this array int store that will uh, store the student id and the number of points that will have that will be uh, for each student. So it would be something like this. Let me write down uh, points, comma, and we have student 
ID. Okay. So uh, we will work for each report of the stu each student. So points will be initialized with zero, and the report for the ith student is report of i, and we start to extract each word of that report. Okay. So whenever we will encounter a empty white space character, the temp will store the particular word. So we'll try to find out if that temp is present in the positive feedback. We will increase points by three. Otherwise, we will if that uh, temp is that word is present in negative feedback, we will decrease points by one. Okay, like we are going to do that for each word. So this entire code is going to extract the word and just check it out. If that uh, word is present in the positive feedback, just increase the point by three. Otherwise, decrease the point by one. Okay, and finally, we are just uh, storing it out into the uh, points and uh, student ID. Remember that we need to uh, sort on the basis of uh, maximum points and the lower ID. Okay, if two or more points have the same ID, yeah, uh, then you need to like like two or more students have the same points. You need to bring lower ID to the top. So we are just pushing minus one. Uh, we are just uh, pushing points comma minus of student ID. So whenever we will sort the uh, stored uh, vector in non decreasing uh, non increasing order then we will be having lower student id at the top if the two or more students has the same points okay so uh, finally we'll sort this and then we'll iterate for first top key students and we'll just push back their ids okay remember that we are just pushing minus student id so again we are ju we just have to uh, push back our answer as minus store of i1 note that the first position will be of uh, points then student id okay so uh, the time complexity for this approach is o of n log n time complexity o of n log n and we have the space complexity as uh, o of n where n is going to be number of students Okay, so let's submit this code and check it out. Yeah, it works for the, all the test cases. So if you have any doubts, you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video. And thank you for watching this video.